Well, greetings, friends, in the lovely name of Jesus, and welcome to the way of prayer, the biblical way of total prayer. I want to, before we start the prayer, and this is the first uh, episode of the day, day one of the month, and we're going to begin with the morning prayer. But before that I do, I want to tell you about our book that is, if I can get it so the light is uh, on it uh, well enough, the, the Way of Prayer, The Biblical Way of Total Prayer. You can get this book from Amazon Books. Just search the author's name, Bishop Jerry Hayes, and the title. And uh, this is our prayer book for 30 days of praying, and we pray this book every month. And I encourage you to view our introductory video that is in this particular playlist. It should be the first video in the playlist on the way of prayer, and it will explain our prayer method. The Lord bless you. As we begin our prayer now, the first day of the month and the morning prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, beloved, let us free pray the first part of the Our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Dear God, we come before you at the beginning of our day, and we acknowledge that you are our Father. We are your children. You are in heaven, O God, far above us. Your ways are higher than our ways, dear Father. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Give us grace, O Father to live in humble obedience to all of your laws and all of your injunctions to us in the word of God. We lift up your name, that name that is holy, that name that is above all names and everything that we do this day, dear Father, we do it all in your name. That name, that new covenant name that you have chosen, is the name Yeshua. We say in English, Jesus, Yahweh, our Savior. Holy be that name. Hallowed be that name. Amen. The first psalm that we pray today is Psalm number one, because this is the first day of our month. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor setteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he does meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that springeth forth his fruit in his season, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Now we come to the confession of our faith, which is the first paragraph of the Apostolic Creed. 
I believe in one God, solitary in being, maker of heaven and earth and all things therein, by his eternal word, that is to say, by the breath of his mouth, thereby and because of creation, reasonably termed the Father. We end our morning prayer again with the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We pray these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whom is the Father who made us, the Son who saved us, and the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us, one God, world without end. Prayer for day one, the mid-morning prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Here we free pray the part of the Our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Dear Father, we come before you right now and we pray for the coming of your kingdom into our world. Just as your kingdom has come in heaven, all the holy angels and the seraphims and the cherubims and the church triumphant that is there with you, worship you, live in total harmony with you, in total submission to you, O God. Let that be the reality of the church militant, Father, that we are in the earth today. Help us, Lord, to bend our will to your will. Let your prayer, O oh God, that you prayed in the garden of Gethsemane, Lord Jesus, be the prayer that we pray today. Not my will, O oh God, but your will be done. And let it be done in the earth. Father, let it be done in my family. Father, let it be done among my children and my grandchildren. Father, let it be done in my church. Let your will be done, Father, with the pastors and with the deacons, O oh God, and with the elder board and with the saints, O oh Lord. Let it be done in our state, in our province. Let your will be done, O oh God, in our country, Father, and in our world. We ask these things. In the name of Jesus, of course, hallelujah. In our mid-morning prayer on the first day of the month, we pray Psalms number two. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from them. He that setteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy mountain of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, 
and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in the Lord. In our mid-morning prayer, we confess the second paragraph of the Apostolic Creed who because of us sinners and for our salvation became manifested in flesh, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, this incarnation not lessening his deity nor altering his humanity, fully God and fully man consubstantiated, therefore the angel called him Jesus, Yahweh's Savior, as to his deity, he is the same essence, nature, and being as the Father. As to his humanity, he is a like essence, nature, and being with us men. Thereby, and because of generation and redemption, reasonably termed the Son of God. These things I believe. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us pray, beloved, our noon prayer for day one of our prayer calendar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. For our noonday prayer, we free pray, give us this day our daily bread. O gracious Father, you who sit upon the circle of the earth, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, in whom is the Father who made us, the Son who saved us, and the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us. We pray for our needs for this particular day. Father, we're not praying for the needs of tomorrow or the needs of next week, God, or the, or the future, but we're praying for what we have need of today. First, we pray for sustenance, dear Lord. We pray that our families will have enough to eat, and not only enough to eat, Father, but the proper things to keep our bodies healthy. We pray, dear Lord, for clothing that is appropriate for the elements, Father, in which we live. We pray, Lord, to be cool and comfortable in the summer and warm, dear God, in the winter. We pray, dear Lord, for shelter that is adequate and that is secure. Father, I pray for all of those that are in financial straits. Father, that are in the danger of losing their home. I pray that you would provide, God, for them, especially, O oh God, for those of the household of faith, O oh Lord. Father, we pray for the daily needs of all of your church throughout the world where they might be. We pray for the daily sustenance and shelter and needs, O oh God, health. We pray for the health of your bishops, O oh Lord, 
of your presbyters and of your deacons, God, and of all of the flock throughout the world where they might be. We pray for health, both physical and spiritual. We pray these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, glory be to the Father through the Son in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray also the third psalm in this prayer. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God, Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Selah. I lay me down and slept. I awaked, and the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all thine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Today our confession is the third paragraph of the Apostolic Creed for our noontime prayer. Who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried, and descended into Hades? Who in his deity raised himself from the dead on the third day, ascending to the right hand of the majesty on high, from which he shed forth his spirit on the day of Pentecost? thereby, and because of emanation and sanctification, reasonably termed the Holy Spirit. These things I do believe. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We pray these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whom is the Father who made us, the Son who saved us, and the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us. One God, world without end. Amen. Now, beloved, let us pray our afternoon prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. For our afternoon prayer, we will free pray the statement from the Our Father, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you realizing that we all are sinners that have been saved by grace. And we realize, dear Lord, that we all sin and that we all have missed the mark and we have fallen short, Father, of what we should have done. So today, dear God, I pray for forgiveness of those sins that I have committed knowingly and those that I have committed unknowingly. Lord, and I ask today for grace that you will give me to forgive those who have sinned against me 
those perhaps who have told lies, those who have participated in deeds that were intentionally done in order to hurt me. Give me grace, O Lord, to forgive them, for I cannot do that in myself, not in my humanity. Only, Father, when your righteousness uh, is, shines forth and out and emanates out of me, because you, O Father, that live in me, you, Father, manifest that forgiveness through me. Father, for I realize that your forgiveness of me depends upon my forgiveness of others. So help me, Lord, to forgive others. Lord, I ask you to forgive me even as I forgive others. And Father, give me the grace not to let unforgiveness and bitterness remain in my life because I realize that that dams up and keeps your forgiveness from flowing to me. Amen. The psalm for the mid-afternoon prayer is psalm number four. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly from himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in all and sin not. Commune with our own heart upon your bed and be still, Selah. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the heart that their corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Our confession is the fourth paragraph of the Apostolic Creed. I believe in the one true saving gospel, the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which saving graces are individually appropriated respectively through repentance, water baptism by immersion, with the invocation of Jesus' name, thereby washed in his blood, and the infilling of his spirit in the beginning. These things I believe. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, beloved, let us pray our evening prayer of the first day of our prayer calendar. Pray it with me. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us free pray the statement of the Our Father 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, you who sit upon the circle of the earth, we pray today that we be led in paths of righteousness for your sake. We pray, dear God, to be kept from the hour of temptation that comes upon the whole world. And we pray that we be kept from temptation, Father, that would come and try our faith. Least that temptation find us in a weak moment and we succumb to it. We pray, dear God, that you lead us not into temptation. We read in the Lord in the word of the Lord where that when you, Jesus, had just come up from being baptized by John, you were driven by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. Oh Lord, we pray that we be spared. But Father, if you, in your wisdom, lead us into such a wilderness, lead us in such a place of temptation, then we pray for strength to remain faithful and to remain true to you in that temptation. We ask, dear God, that you deliver us not only from evil, but deliver us from the evil one that seeks our hurt, that one that comes to uh, devour, that one that comes to destroy, that enemy of our soul that seeks to kill us. Oh, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that we be spared and delivered from the evil, from the effects of the evil, from the consequence of the evil, from the person of the evil. We ask it in the name of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whom is the Father who made us, the Son who saved us, and the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us. One God, world without end. Amen. Our final psalm for our final prayer of the this first day is Psalm number five. Give ear to my words, O Lord, and consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art a God that hath pleasure, that hath pleasure in wickedness, for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O Lord. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions for they've rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Let us confess our faith, the fifth paragraph of the Apostolic Creed. I believe in the holy, universal, and apostolic church, the communion of the saints, and the forgiveness of sins, the sacramental mysteries of Jesus' name, water baptism, the Lord's Supper, and the laying on of hands. I believe in the resurrection of the body, the catching away of the church, the physical return of Jesus Christ, eternal judgment, and life 
everlasting. These things I believe. Let us end our prayer today. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power. Thine is the glory forever. Amen. We pray these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whom is the Father who made us, the Son who saved us, and the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us, one God, world without end. Let us say the Gloria Petri. Glory be to the Father through the Son, in the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you, beloved, and I bid you a good night.